Juneteenth is Wednesday, and we've been telling you about the festivities in store as CBS2 is a proud sponsor of Juneteenth NYC. Today, we are highlighting a Brooklyn spot participating in the restaurant crawl that hopes to reconnect people with their roots. CBS2's Hannah Klieger takes us to Native Restaurant and Lounge in Bushwick. It's a celebration of the vibrant flavors of West Africa. It's super spicy, but it's definitely worth it because the flavors are just an explosion in your mouth. Native Restaurant and Lounge just celebrated its first anniversary, a milestone for this black and women owned business. I remember when I was coming up where a lot of us first generation kids here we weren't so proud to say that we knew about our African culture or our background because we were teased a lot, you know. Now, fast forward 20 plus years later to watch a lot of these, uh, a lot of African Americans embrace their African culture. They want to know where their roots come from with all these websites like Ancestry.com. This year, the glittering establishment is participating in Juneteenth NYC's restaurant crawl in partnership with the Black Restaurant Coalition. A peek inside the kitchen is enough to see the symbolism displayed on the plate. The restaurant has some signature red dishes like jollof rice, a nod to the traditions to eat red food during the holiday. It's the bloodshed, you know, that our ancestors that were enslaved, the color red. Most West African countries have red in their flag, and that is a symbol of resilience, pride. It's also an opportunity to use food to remember the pain of the past and start that important conversation to educate the youth. There's also a red hibiscus flavored cocktail making its way to the menu. When you think about hibiscus, that comes from West Africa, the Yoruba people and all of that, which is a tribe native to Nigeria. It's owned and managed by daughters of immigrants from West Africa seeking to use their food to empower, educate and remember. In Bushwick, Brooklyn, Hannah Klieger, CBS2 News.